The purpose of technology is to become invisible. The purpose of technology is to become so useful, so part of our lives, that we don't even think about it. And where does water come from? Where does running water come from? It comes from the cloud. We don't even think about it anymore. Reservoirs, stream, what now we have, the cloud. And that means unlimited amounts of information coming into the home. So we have to get used to the fact that all your appliances are like faucets. Little faucets, little chips, faucets that access this enormous amount of firepower located someplace where you don't, you don't even know. This is going to change your whole house. Now we have Moore's Law. Computer power doubles every 18 months. I mean, I go back to the original, which was to state that we have some form of uh, ubiquitous computing today, and I would suggest we don't. We're not there yet. But it's coming, and when it comes, and the computing is more pervasive in the home. In, in my opinion, the next step is chaos, and, and that's what will happen. I mean, you'll, you'll get all of these technologies, and, and in reality, there has to be some software development organization or a group of people that pull this all together. And, and that's really the challenge in front of us, is try to understand the, the marriage of the human being and the machine, and create systems that can integrate those things in a seamless way without requiring the touch of finger. And that, that, that is what has to happen, in my opinion, in, in, in tomorrow's home, because as more and more of these things come into the home, it's just going to become completely overwhelming to an average person. Well, I think that we're really at a tipping point for a market explosion, and it is just a little bit different business model. It's not that you're getting 50, 70 points on the hardware, but you should be charging for labor first and foremost. And if we have to make a living on technology, the first thing we know is technology doesn't work. And even if they gave it away free, uh, it's pretty expensive to, to support it, to maintain it. The more we hook into the cloud, the more opportunity for, for clowns out there to, to hack it and chop it and, and break security code. What is technology but a, but a way of dehumanizing our society? Okay, Get used to it. This is the future. The question is, how do you make money on the future? That's the point. The future is going to come anyway, okay? We physicists are inventing it, marketers are marketing it, advertisers are getting ready to market these products. That's going to happen anyway, independent of your will. What you should be asking is, how are you going to make money on it? And there are going to be bottlenecks, like I was mentioned here. Labor, integration, backlashes, yeah, there are going to be bottlenecks. But it's like the birth pangs. The birth pangs of what, when plumbing came in. There were people who were against plumbing. Some people thought it was immoral to have plumbing. Okay, believe it or not. <laughs> you, know, you know that Queen Elizabeth never took a bath? Okay? The first bath. The first bath. <laughs> <first. laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the first. Never took a bath. She was proud of that fact. That's why they had snuff boxes back then to hide the fact that most of us stuck to high heaven because it was considered immoral to bathe. Bathing was frowned on during the Middle Ages. And so there was a backlash against plumbing in those days. There was a backlash against electricity, like I said. Editorials saying, we don't want electricity in the home because homes will burn down. Edison had to go on the offensive and say, we want electricity in the homes even though homes will burn down. And then people hit Edison again and said, the electric chair. Look, people will be electrocuted. And you know something? They were. People get electrocuted every single day of the week. The critics were absolutely right. Houses burn down every single day on the planet Earth. And you know something? We love it. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> right? it gives us the option of being in the electric age. And the same thing now with the, with the, with the cloud, with, with the ubiquitous computing. We have the option to unplug ourselves anytime. Okay? The question for you is, Given the fact that market forces are going to demand this technology, this is going to be so cheap and so powerful, how are you going to make money on it? That's your question. We're going to dis it's a very disruptive time right now. You have to be solid business people first, technologists second. And so we all know it's disruptive. I'm very optimistic where it goes. If, if we don't start taking the simple things and making them simple, like making things talk to one another, then we're going to keep repeating the same thing over and over again, and somebody like ADT is going to run us down and make us extinct.
Human beings want simple things to use. They want systems that will enhance their life in their home. They want them to be reliable, and they want them to be cost effective, period. That's what they want in their homes. So the limitation is not the hardware anymore. It's the manpower it takes the program. Yeah, the cost of technology comes down, but we have to focus on how the technology then gets married back together and presented to the human being. And that, that making order out of chaos, is where actually all the money can be made. Let's take it to higher, because we are custom installers, and a lot of what's been said here, what he's talking about, is not a custom installer. You know, everything plugged and plays together, but that doesn't really help us make a living, right? Uh, we're actually better off if nothing works together, and we can come and we can come in as the knight in shining armor and make everything work. So what you have to do is you have to combine two things. On one hand, you have to know the technology. You have to know what's out there. Just like Apple, Apple of course is a technology company. But Apple did something that other people didn't do. They asked the customer, what do you want with this technology that Apple Computer has? Yeah, the customer wants all the high-tech bells and whistles. They see that stuff, wow, the matrix, wow, I want it. But it's got to be simple. You have to go in two worlds, the high-tech world and the world of the buyer, the customer, and marry the two. That's where money is going to be made. You know, the, the customers that this industry traditionally serviced is one tenth of one percent of the, the, the population. But you know, as the technology is coming down in cost, the mainstream market, a very, very, very large mainstream market, is sitting at the doorstep. And that mainstream market is going to buy products differently than the luxury market buys. It's just a fact. You know, the, the ADT pulsing is, is a, a symptom of that. Verizon Bio Services are, are, are a symptom of that as well. So. While we, you know, if we want to make this, you know, from running water to electricity to this sort of thing, you have to take into consideration who that customer actually is. That customer is not the luxury buyer. That customer, in, in the sense of the intuitive home of the future, is really the mainstream buyer. And that kind of a buyer is going to be have look for very simplistic, very structured package deliveries that are very predictable, and they don't have to think hard about it. And that, that's really that's really what the the, 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 the mass market is going going to buy. There will always be the custom market and, and the, the one tenth of one percent, but the money is going to be in in, in capturing and, and organizing the, the disruption that's going to come through this pervasive computing and doing it in the mass market. And that is where a tremendous amount of money. When you talk about the music industry, look at video today. Video is a mess. And there's no other word for it. It's awful. I mean, they, they, you have satellite, cable, online services, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. We'll try to find something to watch today. You want to make a lot of money? The first person that organizes that and captures the human eye and the human mind to, to organize the delivery of video, that person will make a treme tremendous amount of money. You have to step out of the booth. <laughs> <laughs> you have any uh, comments on video?